On December 5th, 2022, at 1.03 a.m., humans, for the first time, created a star. It was a tiny one, contained within a cylinder smaller than a water bottle, and only burned for a hundred trillionths of a second. But the achievement by scientists at the U.S. government-funded National Ignition Facility at the Livermore Laboratory in California was indeed astronomical. It's the first time it has ever been done in a laboratory, anywhere in the world. Simply put, this is one of the most impressive scientific feats of the 21st century. Technically, what the scientists did was achieve nuclear fusion ignition. They trained 192 of the world's biggest and most powerful lasers housed within a complex the size of two football fields at a pebble-sized capsule of hydrogen fuel. The fusion fuel stayed hot enough, dense enough, and round enough for long enough that it ignited and it produced more energies than the lasers had deposited. This blip of a star made only enough energy to light up a 60-watt light bulb for about seven hours. But scientists say this was proof of what's possible. About one century ago is when humans figured out fusion is what powers the sun. Then about 60 years ago, a group of very ambitious scientists said, hey, let's try to replicate that fusion within a lab. Well, after many fits and starts, they were finally successful. And now the next ambitious goal, endorsed by the U.S. Department of Energy, is to scale up from that one successful experiment into a technology that could power electric plants. There are uh, very significant hurdles, not just in the science, but in technology. This is one igniting capsule, one time. And to realize commercial fusion energy, you have to do many things. You have to be able to produce many, many fusion ignition events uh, per minute. And you have to have um, a robust system of drivers uh, to enable that. It will take several decades to advance the laser technology to that level. But elsewhere, including in Massachusetts and the UK, separate efforts using magnetic fields to achieve nuclear ignition are closer to commercial development. President Biden wants to see that happen within 10 years. Without a doubt, it will be a monumental undertaking. However, the potential benefits are enormous. Clean carbon-free, abundant, reliable energy capable of meeting the world's energy demands. More immediately, the fusion development will help the U.S. maintain its nuclear weapons without testing explosions, according to government scientists. The implications are many and cause for both concern and hope in what scientists call a potential milestone for humanity. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Washington.